Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and this video is going to be a credit making guide on the best and fastest most effective ways of making credits with Star Wars Patch 6.0. So with the new Onslaught expansion I have been experimenting with what are the best ways to make credits now and it's really changed from what it was in the past right in the past there was a lot of buying low selling high on the GTN playing cartel market items stuff like that but now actually crafting has taken a huge a huge role in making credits fast and consistently right it's not something where you uh, take on a lot of risk it's something you can do just as a pastime and passively earn credits while you play the game by sending your companions out on materials but also i'm going to talk about some very um some very effective methods you should be using in the game and taking advantage of them as much as possible so without much further ado let's get into it let's get back into making some credit making guys because i don't think i've made one for like two years so let's get into it okay so the first thing you're going to want to do guys is join a good guild that can't be underestimated and by a good guild you want to join a guild that is consistently doing conquests and that is invading planets but also a guild that constantly meets their um their conquest goals okay so you have a personal conquest goal that's 50,000 conquest points it's relatively easy to obtain you just do a few pvp missions you do some flash points and you're going to hit your conquest goal very easily now completing your personal conquest goal will net you two solid resource matrices as an award now these are artifact level crafting materials that are very high in demand because they're needed to craft all of the end game um, gear that a lot of people are wanting to craft now and sell on the GTN, mainly augments. Okay, A lot of people are chasing after augments and um, the crafters are all buying up the solid resource matrices so that they can craft the augments and sell them. Now. You can take advantage of that by gathering up as many of these solid resource matrices as possible and selling them on the GTN. They're selling very fast, very quickly, and at a relatively high price. From what I've seen on most servers, they sell for around 1.5 to 3 million credits each. And so by earning two of them on your character, by completing your personal conquest goal, you can earn a minimum of like 3 million credits. And that's per week, and that's only assuming you have one high level, uh, you know, one level 75 character that you play consistently. Now, most of us actually have more than that. We like to play multiple classes. And so for the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume that you have at least four level 75 characters that you play consistently. Now, that might be a little bit high, but if you're going for credits, that's definitely like at the minimum number you're going to want to go for. The main reason being, if you complete the, your personal conquest goal on all four of those characters, and trust me, this does not take a lot of time. Uh, if you complete them, you will receive at least eight solid resource matrices. And if sold on the GTN for the minimum price of 1.5 million credits, you're going to earn 12 million credits per week. So that's 12 million credits per week. And the only requirements you need are four level 75 characters minimum that are completing their personal conquest goals. From my personal experience, I can complete my personal conquest goal by doing like a couple of flashpoints and a couple of war zones. It's that quick. And obviously you're going to want to do the content that you enjoy. It's not boring to play a Warzone if you enjoy PvP, or if you're gearing and trying to get to 306, flashpoints are what you're going to be, want to be doing. But really, the way you take advantage of this system is not by completing your personal conquest goal, but it's by joining a guild that completes their conquest goal. So each guild, when they're invading a planet, decides whether they're going to invade a planet with a large yield, medium yield, or small yield. Now, a lot of the high-profile guilds will always go for the large yields, and their conquest goal is set at around 5 million conquest points. Now, the guild that I'm in is called Counterinsurgency. I'm just going to do a shameless plug here. If you want to join that guild, I think they are recruiting, and it's a great guild to join because they have always hit their conquest goal. Now, when a guild hits their, hits their conquest goal, and if they're large yield, you will receive four solid resource matrices. And that's four solid resource matrices for every character you have in the guild that has completed their personal conquest goal. So let's assume you have your four characters, they each completed their personal conquest goal, and they're in a guild that has completed their guild goal. Now each of those characters gets four more solid resource matrices. So that's 16 more solid resource matrices, each selling at 1.5 million credits. That right there is 24 million credits per week. Add that on to the 12 million credits you already are going to be earning, and that is a total of 36 million credits weekly. That's 36 million credits weekly, okay? And that is only by joining a good guild and by completing your personal conquest goal on four tunes. That is a relatively easy thing to do, and it's something you're going to want to be taking advantage of every single week. Now, if you want to join a high-profile guild, here are some tips to do so. If you want to join Counterinsurgency like I've uh, plugged in, what you want to do is go to the Who tab, type in Counterinsurgency, and a list of all the people that are online right now who are in the guild is going to pop up. 
whisper any of them and ask for an invite. The other thing you can do is go to a planet and whenever you go to a planet you can see the guilds that are invading it. Now look at like the number one guild that's invading it, who's in the lead right now, and just ask to join that guild. It's probably going to be a good guild, a high profile guild that uh, tends to hit their conquest goals. Aside from those solid resource matrixes, for each of those um, missions that you do, you also earn a conquest flagship, right? So I think it's like uh, the command ones tend to sell for the best. So for each of those weekly missions that you earn, you get one of those, okay? So that's four more of those which tend to sell for around a million credits each. So that's four more million credits per weekly. On top of all of that, it also gives you these credit things that you can sell straight to a vendor and earn some credits from that. And um, it also gives you gear crates that give you uh, really good gear, set bonus gear and all of that stuff. So it's a great way to gear, a great way to earn credits. That's the take home point. Guys, take advantage of this system. I'm not sure how things are gonna change because it is worth noting that there is gonna be a crafting overhaul happening in about a month or so in December. And so what that means is the whole thing can change. And solid resource matrices might not sell for as much. They might be easier to obtain or something like that. And so the point being though, I think this system is going to remain as a very lucrative system of making credits, no matter how the crafting system changes, no matter if the rewards change or anything like that. This is always going to be something you want to take advantage of. So if you weren't taking advantage of it already, you have been told this is the best way to make credits. It's around 40 million credits weekly that you can earn. It's not hard to do so. And so you really sh shouldn't be hard making credits, guys. This is super simple. I've been doing it very easily and I'm a completely casual player. Okay, I'm in school, I'm working hours. Like I cannot be playing this game too much and I'm still able to hit my conquest goals. All right, so we've talked about that enough. Let's talk about some of the other ways you can make credits by crafting. Now I have looked at augments. I've tried to craft augments and I have found personally that it is simply not lucrative. It is not profitable to craft stuff. You tend to be able to set, sell the materials for higher prices than crafting. And I know that crafting allows you to crit and give you like a double of something. So if you're crafting augments, you can get two augments from just the price of crafting one. But the crit rate is like usually you get about one in every three or four that you craft. And um, it's still not enough to cover the cost of just selling the mats. You could have sold the mats and gotten a higher price for it. So that's what I personally found. I would say don't worry too much about crafting. The real money is in this uh, gathering materials. Now this is my favorite way of making credits because the, the crafting materials always sell very efficiently. They always sell quickly on the GTN. They sell for very good prices and it's a completely passive way of making credits. So as you're doing whatever you enjoy in the game, whether that be PvP or flashpoints, you can just continually send your companions out on crafting or gathering missions, sorry, and get crafting materials and then sell those materials on the GTN. And the best gathering skill is scavenging. I have found that consistently scavenging always provides materials that are high in demand and that sell very well, no matter what the patch is. But that is especially true for patch 6.0 because the premium temper steel and the premium durasteel mats right now are green level mats and they sell for around five to 10,000 credits each. And I think there's a few reasons for that. Number one being that the other way that you can kind of get them is by the Java vendors, but those Java vendors are requiring 100 of each green scrap piece, 100 green scrap pieces for just one material, which is an absolutely insane price. And the other reason I think they're in such high demand is because a lot of people require these materials to craft the, the good end content stuff. So to craft the augments, to craft the augmentation kits, all of that stuff requires these materials in some way or another. So the scavenging mats are the best and the green ones are the best, okay? The green ones will sell for five to 10,000 credits each, while the blue and the purple ones, which are supposed to be harder to get, actually only sell for like one to 2,000 credits each, okay? The green ones sell for a lot, they sell the best, they're the ones you're gonna wanna go for. Now, because you're going for the green materials, that means you're not gonna wanna go for the scavenging missions that are bountiful or rich yield, okay? So I'm showing them to you here, the bountiful and the rich yield ones. These ones cost more to send your companions on and they will return to you blue and artifact level scavenging materials, which you do not want because those are the ones that only sell for one to 2,000 credits each. The ones you're gonna to wanna to send your companions on are actually the moderate yield and the abundant yield ones. These missions are called Opportunity Overload, A Fine State, A State of Affairs, Wonders of the Ancients, and Seeds of Opportunity. Okay, these are the ones you're gonna to wanna to send your companions on. They, they cost less to actually send them on, and they will return to materials that are 
infinitely more valuable than the other missions. Now I want to use the example of this opportunity overload one. So this mission costs 4,250 credits to send your companion on. Now I sent a level 50 companion and he actually critted and he returned to me 25 of the premium duranium plating. Now the premium duranium plating I'm going to put into the, um, the GTN here is selling for 9,000 credits each and so I sent this uh, companion out, it cost me 5,000 credits and he's returning to me 225,000 credits worth of items guys. It's insane, it's completely lucrative, you can continually send your companions out on these missions and they will return to you hundreds of thousands of credits worth of materials that you can then go and sell on the GTN and these sell very quickly, very efficiently. So scavenging is the best in my opinion, it's what I've experimented with. I also hear that biochemical analysis or whatever that one is, that one's also pretty good but unfortunately I don't have any characters with that skill so I'm not really able to experiment with it. I do know that underworld training is not the best. Um, investigations not the best diplomacy like I've tried those ones and um, from what I've seen they're not the best slicing definitely isn't too good but yeah scavenging returns to you a really good price so if you have that skill go for it if this is a skill that you've been wanting guys level your character up and use this it's the best and it's always been the best in my opinion in any case I have talked long enough I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it informative those are my tips right now for the best ways to make credits it's very cost effective and efficient you're able to do it and earn a bunch of credits within a week uh, there are systems that you want to use in this game to the to their maximum effect and those are the ones now if i get more tips and tricks on how to make credits by experimenting a little bit more i will be sure to update this video i will make another video that kind of outlines those but right now these are easy and effective ways to make credits hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys didn't mind my rambling uh, let me know in the comment section what are your best ways of making credits. Uh, please feel free to augment this video. Please feel free to um, give me tips and tricks about what are the best ways because I definitely haven't been experimenting with a lot of the other crafting stuff. And uh, I think the other players will find it immensely helpful as well to, to gain some different perspectives on it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.